Hello, everyone. In this video, I will introduce the latest version of um, Rebel for Python. This new version integrates CodeGrid in Rebel. All the assignments in the new version are provided and supported by uh, CodeGrid. I'm going to now um, show you and how to uh, start this um, new version from the beginning. And I'm going to uh, sign in as instructor now. All right, I'm going to create a new course. I'm going to search for my name. And here is um, Rebel for Python. I'm going to create the course now. I'm going to call this as new Python Rebel. And this is just some dates now here. And all right, so I'm going to save it now. All right, so the course has been created. And this is the one here, new Python Rebel. I'm going to open Rebel now. So first, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to uh, change this uh, to uh, immediately upon publication. So all this available, the assignments are available now. And also, I'm going to uh, change this uh, auto graded programming projects into uh, 10 points. Save. And now I'm going to go back to dashboard to create some assignments. So this, this is all in chapter one. I'm going to select, add it to this assignment and make it a due 19th publish. And for chapter two, let's go back to for chapter two, I'm going to select all at and now set the due date to 20th publish. All right, I'm going to add one more chapter. Let's go to um, chapter five. Select all, add, and set the due date to 21st. Publish. So now I'm going to go back to um, all my courses now. And go to this invite students. I'm going to click this invite link, copy and paste into a student account. So I'm going to open now a student uh, account from this new website, um, from this um, new, uh, new browser. I, may, I have a new browser. So I'm going to copy this link right here. And so now, all right, so this, for this now, I'm going to use this 14-day uh, temporary access. And this is my account, student account. All right, I'm going to start access now. So 
So this is new Python Rebel. So I'm going to open this from my student account. So these are the uh, assignments from my instructor's account. So here, um, chapter one, chapter two, and chapter five. So for chapter two, let's look at chapter two now. I'm going to um, look at this um, quiz. 2.5, so I'm gonna click 2.5. Start this quiz. Okay, now we get into code grid. So all the assignments are supported by code grid. And so now I'm gonna to write the code for this programming quiz. Assign the variable eight below with the value negative eight. So eight, so I'm going to, first I'm going to make a mistake here. And this is incorrect because it's not the same case. Here's B and this is uppercase here, but now by mistake, it is a lowercase. All right, you can test it. Run, click the run button to test the uh, code. All right, so here's the feedback. The variable eight below does not seem to exist. All right, so that's because I have this B now. All right, we're gonna change this to uppercase B. And now you write again, everything is all right now. Okay, uh, so now if you click hand in, now you're gonna see this message it says, there are still unanswered questions for the quiz. Are you sure you want to hand in and no? All right, you're gonna stay here and continue. All right, so now I'm going to um, stay here. Let's just go to the next one. So here in this quiz, we also have multiple choice questions. So here is the multiple choice question, analyze the following code. So this is the code. And so here, and what's the problem? The problem here is this interest rate is not defined. Uh, well, this is defined. So the here, interest rate is not defined. Um, you cannot um, test this multiple choice questions and you, um, the only time you know whether this is correct or incorrect is after you hand in. Um, so now this is correct. Let me go to the next one. I'm going to set this one here. It's uh, X is one, and this is going to be uh, 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 two times one here. It's plus uh, this one should be three. But by mistake, I'm going to choose this one. All right, this is incorrect. All right, um, you you cannot run it to to test it. So this run button is not going to work for this multiple choice questions. I'm going to hand in and see what happens. So when you hand in, uh, let's see. Yes, I'm. I have not uh, finished all the um, questions, but this is. I'm just going to get yes now. Just submit whatever I have now, and you're going to see here. This is it's everything. And this is correct feedback. And now, and so this is no answer. And this no answer. So this one is correct. The multiple choice question is correct. This is incorrect. So here, give you the hint. All right, so those are all the multiple choice questions and the uh, programming quizzes. <laughs> now I'm going to go to uh, uh, jump to chapter five. Let's look a programming project. So I'm going to look at this programming project now. And this is chapter five, programming project one. So we're going to write the code for this. Paste it here. So this is the code. So here's write a program that reads integers 
finds the largest of them and counts its occurrences. All right, so here, this is the code. Um, I'm going to make a mistake right here is this count here. Um, instead of this count, this is the increment by one. So I'm going to increment by uh, just by mistake 12. All right, I'm going to run this now. Okay, so here, um, so this is the feedback. And, it, and this is the input used in the test. So here is the actual output, uh, which is not correct. And the correct output should have this pattern. This is the expected pattern in reg expression. It's in regular expression. So in regular expression, and this or this here means any number of characters. So that's, we use a lot in this um, regular expression here for the uh, uh, pattern matching. So, and, and one student see this one time, and so students will know, and this is the pattern. It's any number of characters. And here now you have to have, uh, the largest number is five. And so here you're gonna match, uh, the largest number is five, that's correct. And, but the next one here, it's the occurrence. So this is here, any number of characters. Then look for the occurrence count of the largest number is four. All right, so here, the occurrence count of largest number is 37. That is wrong. So this will give you some hint and to go back to uh, debug your code. All right, so something wrong with this, the count of the largest number here, it should be one. All right, we fix it and then go back to write again. All right, so now, and if everything's correct, so you can now hand in. All right, so uh, the big improvement in this new version is on this programming projects. Uh, in the old version, when you submit a program and which has a logic error, and the uh, system cannot give you any feedback. And now, and with this code grid integration in Revel, students can get feedback, and this feedback will help students to debug the code. All right, so I'm gonna hand in, and this is here. It's going to be uh, graded again. So this is gonna take a little while to see everything now to get this feedback. Okay, now um, it's going to take a little while. So this is, uh, yeah, okay, finally, we, we got everything now. Okay, uh, that's great. And now, um, so you close it, and now you're going to see this is, uh, so this is the, uh, all the points you have now before credits. All right, uh, that is all on this introduction of code grid integration with Revel. And so now you see uh, everything is the same as before, except the assignments. Assignments now are provided uh, by uh, code grid. It's, it's now graded in code grid with the, all the programming uh, quizzes and the uh, multiple choice questions and programming projects. Uh, the, again, um, so really the big improvement you see is now you get feedback from uh, program projects. Thank you very much uh, for watching and goodbye.